So today we are talking about social media perception or put more adequately your perception of others on social media. So here's the thing. When you see someone post something on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Reddit and it makes you instantly, you know, feel that spark of anger. Some people, they respond, you know, they might write a comment saying, hey man, this isn't really the way the world is. You have the wrong idea. I am fully correct. Or some shit like that. Maybe this person has a history. Maybe they're very consistent with their posting. And you might feel like you have a pretty good read on this person. I mean, you know, obviously they're posting these things because that's how they feel. It might fit their ideology. It might, you know, just kind of be who they are. And so you might think that this is all this person is, but you got to remember that's only like 2% of their actual personality. That's only 2% of their character is what you're seeing. I guess what I'm trying to get at is it kind of warps your perception of that person, right? Because you only see what they post. But tell me, have you ever known someone like that on social media and then you meet them in person? Have you? Yeah, that's always fun. It's like, wow, we actually like have things in common and maybe this person isn't actually so bad. I know what I'm saying sounds so obvious, but it's like, I'm not immune to this kind of manipulation of the mind. Even people I know and like, like, I mean, even some of my friends will post things and I'll be like, damn it, now I have to have a conversation with them about this, cause, reasons. You know, I'm driving and it's like I'm thinking of all the things that I'm gonna say to them, all the points I'm gonna make, but then it's like, you know, you get there and you hang out with them and you're having a good time and you're cracking jokes and, you know, you're just being friends, you're being friendly, you're being humans. Again, it goes back to like the whole your social media persona is only like two or three percent of your character. Now, some people may be more because maybe some people post a lot more. Maybe their whole life is on there, but even if your whole life is on social media, it's still a very shallow interpretation of who you are as a person. Sure, you have those echo chambers of people. Someone will make a post, and of course, all their friends will post underneath them, kind of reinforcing those ideas, adding to that same conversation. You might have a few dissonance going in there. So many people. Hi, Boo Boo. How are you? What was I saying? Meow. Again, when you meet them in person, that's when you get the real them. That genuine human connection really kind of signifies the ills of social media. It feeds off that negativity because that gets more clicks and that gets more ad revenue and that gets more metadata collected, I guess. I mean, you ever just hang out with someone in person that you know you totally disagree with them on shit? Do you do that? I feel like that's like a real cure for so much animosity, so much misunderstanding. Cause people, I, I get it. When people are making these kind of posts, yes, they're doing it because they believe in it, but you know, of course we're always feeding into the dopamine machine. They're doing it for that. They're doing it for the likes. They're doing it for the camaraderie within their own friend group. Sometimes you just need to I don't know, hang out with people that have different views than you and maybe you'll see that maybe not all liberals are bad, maybe not all conservatives are bad, maybe we're all just kind of Americans just trying to get by. And there were like so many other points that I missed. Oh, I'm, I'm low on battery. 